There have been many studies that have shown increases in metabolism from the consumption of ketogenic diets, but the mechanisms for that effect have never truly been detailed. I know that seeing that title that implies a reduced efficiency of your mitochondria seems like the last thing you'd want, but really in fat cells, that's exactly what we want to happen if our goal is fat loss. So you see your fat cells come in two major types, white fat cells and brown fat cells. While white fat cells are what your body has the most, but it's actually brown fat cells that boost your metabolism. Your white fat cells use little energy, thereby contributing little in a relative sense to our metabolism. However, brown fat cells use much higher levels of energy, thereby actually having an impact increasing your metabolism. So the question might then occur to you, how do I get more brown fat cells? Well, I'll give you that answer as we uncover the science. The researchers that published this study wanted to find out what happens to fat cells when they're exposed to ketones. Ketones being the molecules our liver produces when fasting for long periods of time or when consuming a high fat diet. So they took fat cells and incubated them in beta hydroxybutyrate, which is a ketone our body produces, and then measured the efficiency of mitochondria in their ability to produce cellular energy, known as ATP, adenosine triphosphate. So that is measured by the amount of oxygen your mitochondria use and how much ATP is generated as a result. I'm definitely glossing over details, but that's the highlight point, oxygen and ATP. What they found is by comparison to cells that did not get treated with ketones, the ketone treated fat cells were much less efficient at producing ATP. Okay, interesting. But we're talking about cells here. So would this apply to a living body? That was the next question they posed, testing the same experiment, but in rats fed a ketogenic diet, which promotes ketone production by the liver. Or they were fed the normal rat diet for one month. And interestingly, they found the same effect, a reduced efficiency of fat tissue tested. What was especially intriguing is the fact that these rats lost body fat in two out of the three areas tested if they were on a ketogenic diet, yet they didn't lose substantial body weight. Okay, the plot thickens. The researchers uncovered that ketones and a ketogenic diet reduce mitochondrial efficiency, but also show spot-specific fat loss. That's really amazing, but most people would then wonder if this applies to us, humans. Scram, E.T. Fortunately, the researchers looked into exactly that by taking fat biopsies from people on a strict ketogenic diet versus people not on a ketogenic diet. They verified an increase in blood circulating ketones, which were predictably slightly elevated in the ketogenic diet, and then ran the same experiments again. Does a ketogenic diet have similar effects in humans that it does in rats? Yep. It sure does. Again, although the total ATP or cellular energy production was the same between the keto and non-keto group, the keto group achieved that ATP production in a far less efficient manner. That's all pretty fascinating in its own right, but what's going on here and how can we use that to our advantage? It might still be confusing to think of inefficient mitochondria as beneficial to fat loss, but in a really basic sense, mitochondria require substrate molecules to feed them like NADH and FADH, and those substrates come from our food. So if mitochondria generate the same amount of ATP, but do so less efficiently, it means the mitochondria have more demand for substrate, which comes from your food. This manifests in more food, and in cases where insufficient food is consumed, more body fat is then used to fulfill the needs of the mitochondria in cells. Where ketones play a role has been suggested in their ability to increase a particular protein known as uncoupling protein, or UCP for short. UCP reduces the efficiency of mitochondria. I won't go into how here, but they essentially supercharge the inefficiency of mitochondria by generating a leak in the organelle. 
What you should know is that the more UCP is present, the less efficient mitochondria are at generating cellular energy, burning through more substrate. Well, the researchers of this study also measured the gene expression of UCP and found it elevated with both the ketones and the ketogenic diet. And while this is not definitive proof, it's certainly a step in the right direction of that proof. Now, if you remember earlier, I did mention that there were two main types of fat, white and brown. I mentioned that white fat is more efficient and is less metabolically expensive. Brown fat is the exact opposite, being more metabolically expensive. That's largely because these cells tend to have far more UCP in them. So the research here indicates there is a beijing process that occurs under elevated ketone conditions. That means that white fat cells will become more like brown fat cells simply by the exposure to ketones. So what does that mean for you? It means that this research suggests that anything that would increase ketones would increase metabolism by making mitochondria less efficient. So nutrition styles like ketogenic diets may have a benefit in that they increase energy expenditure. This study indicates that ketones, beta-hydroxybutyrate specifically, reduces mitochondrial efficiency in fat cells through possibly increased UCP expression, which is common in more metabolically active brown cells. And with that, I hope you learned a thing or two, and I will hope to speak with you in the future. Thanks for stopping by.